Hi everyone. Welcome to the series of soft computing lectures. So in the last video I have explained to you about the basic concept of head network. So today we will be discussing on the numerical problems in head network. Okay? Come let's get started. The problem given to us is design an head network to implement logical and function use bipolar inputs and targets. So we know what is logical and function. So if you have two inputs x1 and x2, so since we have given here bipolar input, so it will it will have the values 1 or minus 1. Instead of 0, it will take 1 or minus 1. So 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1 and minus 1. So what will be the output or target? 1, 1, it will be 1 and others it will be minus 1. That means when both the inputs are 1, the output will be 1. So in other cases, other for all the cases of the inputs, the output will be minus 1. So this is your logical AND function. And the bias we are considering 1 for all the inputs. Okay. After writing this tooth table, so we need to design this network. So here, since we have two inputs x1 and x2, so we are going to have two neurons over here, x1 and x2, and we have one bias. So the input will be 1 for this. So, and this is given to y input, and the output from this y input neuron will be y over here. So here, we will initialize this as w1 and w2. These are the weights associated with this particular, and this we will consider as B that is nothing but the bias okay so for this particular network we will write the formula so it is nothing but y will be equal to b plus x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 okay this is what the formula for your neural network so for this particular diagram so it is nothing but x1 into w1 plus x2 into w2 plus 1 into b will give uh, that is that will be the value for your y okay so now we will initialize w1 w2 and b to be 0 so for first what we have to do is we have to initialize the weights so what is the main purpose of this particular network is that so we need to train this network using head network and then we have to find out the values of w1 w2 and b so that is our main purpose of this particular program okay now we will for form a table so which consisting of inputs and the y that is x1 x2 the bias and the y is an output and as in as in this hep network we all know the formula will be w1 nu will be equal to that is nu weights will be calculated as wi nu will be equal to wi old plus the change in weights okay the change in del w that means it is nothing but xi into y. Okay, this is the formula for calculating your new weights. New weights will be equal to old weights plus change in weights or otherwise we can write as xi into y. Likewise, we can also write it for the bias. New bias weight will be equal to old bias weight plus del b. That is nothing but your y. Okay, this is the formula for your new bias weights okay now we will apply this particular formula and we will find out the new updated weights okay now we will write the formula over here so it will be easier for us when we calculate the values so del w1 is nothing but x1 y del w2 is x2 y and del b is y and w1 new weights will be old weight plus x1 w x1 into y or otherwise we can simply write del w1 w2 new will be equal to w2 old plus del w2 or otherwise it is x2y and b new that is new bias weight will be old bias weight plus del b or otherwise we can write y okay this is the formula we have so now we will substitute the values so what are all the x1 x2 it will be 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 so these are all the inputs we have taken and all the bias inputs we are considering it to be 1 over here and the y value will be the target that is the target value for this is 1 minus 1 minus 1 and minus 1 so this is what we all know so first we will we will send the first set of input output pair this is the input pair and this is an output pair to this algorithm so when we pass this first we have to find out x1 into y so what is x1 y over here 1 into 1 it will be 1 and what is x2 y again x2 is 1 over here and y is also 1 so it will be 1 
and y will be 1 over here and what will be w1 nu so initially we have considered this w1 old to be 0 w2 old to be 0 and old bias weight is also 0 so when we substitute here we will get 0 plus del w1 is 1 the answer will be 1 over here and again it is 0 plus 1 you will get 1 and here also 0 plus 1 you will get 1 okay this is what the new weights you have you have got after you have sent the first set of input output pair now you are going to send the second set of input output pair to this head network so what happens over here is that so again you have to calculate this x1 into y so x1 over here is this one and y is minus 1 so you will get minus 1 here x2 is minus 1 and y is minus 1 so you will get here 1 and y simply y it will be minus 1 okay now you have to apply this you have to find out w1 nu so w1 nu will be w1 old weight is 1 over here so it will be 1 plus the new change in weights is minus 1 so you will get 0 so it will be the old weight is this weight you have to consider the previous input previous updated weights so it will be w2 old will be 1 1 plus del w2 it is 1 so you will get 2 here so this 1 plus minus 1 you will get 0 now for the third set of input output pair so we will again find out what is the value for del w1 del w2 b and the new weights so it will be x1 into y it will be 1 and x2 into y it is minus 1 and y it is minus 1 here so now we have to find out the new weights. New weights will be old weights will be 0, 2 and 0. So 0 plus del W1 it is 1. So the answer will be 1. So 2 plus minus 1. 2 plus minus 1 it will be 1. And 0 plus this del B is minus 1. So the answer will be minus 1. Okay. Now again similarly we will find we will apply this we will send the last fourth set of inputs and output pair and we will find out the new weights so the answer will be uh, x1 into y it is 1 x2 into y it is again 1 y it will be minus 1 and the old weights is now 1 1 minus 1 so it will be 1 plus del w1 is 1 so it will be 2 1 plus del w2 is 1 so it will be again 2 and minus 1 plus del b will be minus 1 so it will be minus 2 okay so these are all the out these are all the uh, these are all your new weights you have obtained after applying your head network okay so the final weights we have received after applying all the set of inputs is 2 2 and minus 2 that is nothing but Final weights we have received is W1 is equal to 2, W2 is 2 and WB is equal to minus 2. So now we will apply this, we will uh, we, we will apply to this particular uh, network. So what we get is the weights W1 is 2, W2 is 2 and the bias we have got minus 2 over here. Okay. So now we will check whether it, the outputs what we have received is correct or not. So you have to write that particular equation Y is equal to B plus X1 W1 plus X2 W2 and substitute all these values. For example, we will check for first set of input 1 1 and 1 so so here bias values what we have got at last is minus 2 and what is x1 we will take for this set of inputs 1 and 1 so x1 is 1 w1 we have received is 2 plus x2 is also 1 and w2 we have got is 2 so when you substitute this minus 2 uh, 2 plus 2 it is nothing but y you are getting as 2 that is nothing but it is a positive value so the y you have got a positive value that means that the weights what you have received from this particular table tabular column is correct so this is how you have to find out your head network so any head network so here we have considered here a head network with logical and they can give you any other uh, and network or any other problem suppose for example they are giving asking you to find out for, uh, for find out for logical or function or it may be any not uh, not and function like this if they are asking you you have to draw the truth table first and you have to give both the inputs and outputs over here and after which you have to draw this particular flow uh, the network and you uh, write this equation and draw this tabular column so the tabular column should contain the inputs the weight changes and the new weights okay so initially we will initialize all the weights and bias to be zero and use this formula and you will find out the final in final outputs that is final weights so then you go and check whether you are getting the proper answer when you apply this particular inputs okay this is how you have to solve your hep network okay thank you for watching